Hello everyone, today we're working on a 2014 Chevrolet Equinox. This is an all-wheel drive vehicle and we're working on the gear train today. We're going to be servicing the rear differential, the transfer case which powers the drive shaft going to the rear differential. We're also going to be doing a transmission flush on this. Now the transmission does not have a dipstick on it, it has a plug on the side. We'll show you where that's at and I'll show you the procedure for doing this flush. And the fluids we'll be using will be the uh, Amsoil synthetic automatic transmission fluids of low viscosity meets and exceeds all the specifications for this transmission and uh, gives you a tremendous uh, longer life on the transmission fluid and the equipment and it runs cooler as well. So uh, we're going to do the flush on the tranny with that and then the, uh, the rear differential and that transfer case will use the Amsoil Severe Gear 75W90 synthetic. So they have a drain plug and a fill plug on those. And I recommend doing the uh, uh, differentials in that transfer case usually around 20 to 30,000 miles because there's a break-in period on those, on those uh, gearboxes. And in that uh, break-in period, they give off fine metal. And you need to get that flushed out, get it out of the system. And uh, that's what we're going to do today, and we'll show you what the fluid looks like. And the other thing is, if you're wondering how much it holds, Amsoil has a... Uh, Actually, go to my website, fluidcapacity.com, and uh, we have a uh, place where you can type in the year of your vehicle and uh, the make and engine model and all that, and it'll give you the recommendation as far as the oils for each cavity, and it'll also down here give you the capacities of each cavity, like transmission here, total fill is 9 quarts, um, the transfer case, you're looking at 1.7 pints, and the rear differential is about 1.1 pint. So this is something you can print off for each of your vehicles. So it just makes it a lot easier when you go to service them. So we're going to go ahead and get started with this and be back with you. Okay, this plug right here for checking it is right here on the side of the case. It takes a 7 16th wrench size. And I've already pre-loosened it, so we're going to pop it out. Now uh, we're doing just basically a check before we drain it to see how much fluid's in it. And with this thing warmed up, we should have fluid uh, running out of this hole uh, a little bit if it's at the right level. So we're going to go ahead and take it off. Now this vehicle has about 30,000 miles on it. And uh, we'll see what this fluid here looks like. There we go. Stuff don't look the best for 30,000 miles. Looks like this transmission's a little hard on the fluid. But you get the idea that fluid will just be running out of that, uh, that, that hole there with the engine running. We want the vehicle level as well. So the fluid level is at the right level. It just don't look the best. So we'll put that plug back in. Kind of a hard one to get at. And we'll show you where the drain plug is for this. All right. Okay, on this transmission there is no pan and the filter is actually up in the case and the only way to get at the filter is to take the tranny out and split the case. Well that's obviously not doable. So what we have here is a drain plug. We're going to drain out that fluid and I'm going to measure how much has come out just to see how much we got. And when I refill it that's about where I'm going to be at to do the flush. So. Here comes the nasty oil. It ain't no cherry red anymore. So we're going to let that drain out and then we'll put that drain plug back in and then I'll show you where the fill plug is and also how much oil we're going to start with to do the flush. So we'll be back with you. Okay, we're getting ready to take off the line, <clears throat> transmission cooler line <clears throat> to do the flush. And this is in kind of a tough spot to get at. I'm going to do my best to film it here. But you can kind of see that, that line back there at the end of my finger there. That's the gooseneck line going into the radiator. I'm going to go back here a little bit different angle and see if I can get a better shot. So you got some idea where it's at. And if you kind of look there in the middle of the screen, you can kind of see that blue. You can see that blue thing right down there. Kind of see if I can get my finger out right here. That's a plastic keeper that comes off, kind of right there at the end of my finger. And then under that there's a snap ring. There's a special tool to remove that snap ring. So 
what I'm going to do is take a bore scope so I can get a good shot of this getting it removed so you got a good idea what we're doing. I also have a video that uh, I've made on these jiffy tight fittings because that's what this is called is a jiffy tight. So I'll bring this up and I'll show you the special tools. <clears throat> and this kit here you can buy at Napa. It's a part number 774007. And it has all the jiffy tight sizes in it. And the smallest one's the one you need. It's a, a 3 8 jiffy tight. Pull that one out here, kind of show you what it looks like. Okay, and it's spring loaded, which is kind of nice. You can put it over the line. And then it's got three little legs. And what that does, that expands that snap ring out. So then you can just pull the line out without having to take the snap ring off. So definitely a tool that you want to have for this. And uh, we're going to go ahead and set up the, uh, the bore scope, and then we'll, we'll show you how to take that line off. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is pull off that little plastic keeper right there. Just pull backward on it. Oh, come on off of there. There it comes. Okay, you can kind of see right here is that little clip we're taking off. You can see it floating around there. And we're going to take this tool and put it on. Like I say, it's spring loaded, that's a big help. Kind of keeps it tight on there. And you got to turn it part of a turn like that. And you can pull that line right out, just like that. Okay, now we got this out. The snout of this uh, tube right here, this cooler tube, is 3 8 of an inch OD. And you can get uh, uh, 3 8 OD poly tubing from your Menards or Lowe's or Home Depot stores. And uh, inside this fitting, right inside here is an O-ring that seals right here on the snout of this uh, this cooler line. So uh, when you go back together it's a simple procedure that that little snap ring is right there and you'll push it in and, and you can kind of see it's it's ramped and then it, once you get beyond that ramp it clicks over the end and that's what holds it in that snap ring holds it in on the back side of this little ramp here this drop off. So we're going to take this line here out of the way and what I do is bring in that uh, 3 8 poly line and then just push it straight in. There's, that O-ring will seal right on it beautifully. And there we go. So now we bring that tube out and we're ready for uh, to continue with the flush. So we'll be back with you. Okay, right down here is the fill plug. It's right here on the top of that transaxle. So we'll take that out, set it aside, and then there's a got a long funnel here that will go down and that will give us the uh, spot to fill it. So we put the drain plug back in and uh, torqued that down so now we're going to fill up the transmission. We took out about a gallon of fluid, just over a gallon. So I'm going to put about a gallon and a quart in to start the flush and uh, then we're going to show you doing, show us doing the flush here. So we'll be back with you. Go. Okay we're getting ready to check the fluid level. Now before we start it up we want to make sure we have fluid coming out of this hole this drain plug or this check plug hole. So we're going to take this out and see what we got. And we don't have any coming out. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill it up until it starts running out. That'll give us enough to start the, uh, the vehicle and, and uh, get going. Alright, we're getting ready to do this flush. And uh, we've got a drain pan here. And I put in about a quart, I'm sorry, a gallon and a quart of uh, transmission fluid to begin the flush. And we're going to go ahead and start the vehicle up. Go ahead, start it. We're going to go. We're going to go till we get a good color change. If I get a transmission that's real dirty, I may do this procedure twice until I get this oil coming out of that cooler to come nice and cherry red clean. So if 
I'm doing this and I get down to the point where this starts sputtering some oil, I'll shut it off and I'll add more oil if it's not clean. Shut it off. Start sputtering just like that. Okay. Let's see how this fluid looks here. It's looking better. But I think I might just do this a little bit more. So I got a real nice cherry red because it's still a little bit dark yet. Yeah, we're going to add a little bit more fluid here and we're going to do this again. So it kind of gives you some idea what we're looking at. But when it starts sputtering like that, you're you're sucking down there to the bottom of the bottom of the tranny. It's time to shut it off and get some more in. Okay, we've added about another three to four quarts and we're going to start it up and we're going to continue to flush till I see a good color change. Go ahead. starting to come around pretty good. Okay, that's good. Shut it off. Yeah, it looks a whole lot better. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. So what we'll do now is reconnect this cooler line. And I'll show you that. And then uh, we're going to check, go down to the uh, plug, that check plug. And we're going to recheck the level and get it filled back up. And uh, we'll get at that next. Okay, we're uh, done with that flush. We took out our poly line. And we're going to just push this back in place. Push it in until you hear that little snap or that click. And then give it a tug, make sure it's tight. And then there's this little keeper, little plastic keeper. Just push that right over top of it. And that's it for the cooler line. It's all back in and ready to go. You may spill a little bit of oil down here. You may want to use some uh, brake clean or something to spray that down to get rid of that oil because you're gonna. It's inevitable you're gonna spill some right there. You can't get away from it. But uh, that's it for the cooler line, and uh, we'll go down and and uh, check the fluid level next. Okay, we filled this up to where we have just fluid running out of that uh, check plug. And we're gonna go ahead and start it up. Start it up. We're gonna take this plug out. And we're gonna fill it until it just starts to run out again. Okay. Go ahead and shut it off. Okay, so now we've got it to the point where it's just running out here. Now what we'll do is take it for a test drive and then we'll recheck this fluid level here. And uh, if we had to add some more we will, but we want it flowing out about the same as it was when we originally started. So we'll, uh, we'll do that and get back with you. Okay, these plugs here, this one, and this one, the torque on those is right at about 7 to 8 foot-pounds, which is going to be about 80 to 90 inch-pounds. So it gives you some idea. They don't get real, real tight. So we're going to go ahead and start this up and recheck the level here. Go ahead and start it up. Just dribbling out a little bit. We're going to add a little bit more. Go 
Okay. Turn it off. All right, that's it. So at this point, we're done with the transmission flush. And you can see that fluid looks a whole lot better. So we're going to finish torquing up these, uh, these plugs and clean things up, and we'll be pretty well done with this. Okay. Okay, here's the fluid we took out of that transmission. And again, this vehicle only has 30,000 miles on it, so you can see that that transmission's pretty hard in this fluid. And uh, I'm going to pour in some, some of the new stuff beside it so you can kind of see what we're dealing with here. You can see there's quite a difference in the color. And uh, you can definitely help that transmission live a lot longer, happier life. If you do this uh, tranny flush, I would say in the 30,000 30, mile range. And, uh, and then with the AMSOIL after that, I would do it every 50 to 100,000, right in that range. Uh, again, you can check the fluid, see what it looks like. If it's starting to look dark at all, you know, it's time. So I believe we used a total. I'm trying to figure out here what we had. Let me see, a gallon and a half. I believe we used a total of about three gallons. Yeah, right in that range. So, you know, we did that flush a little bit longer. That gives you some idea. I would have around three to three and a half gallon on hand to do this transmission flush. So, all right, that's it. Thank you for watching my video. Be sure to check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel at youtube.com forward slash C forward slash Donsoil. I'd like to introduce you to Amsoil Synthetic Lubricants. We have the most complete line of synthetic lubricants on the market that offer you greatly reduced wear, extended drain intervals, longer equipment life. You can check that out at my website, donsoil.com. I also have a website for looking up fluid capacities. It's fluidcapacity.com. You can go there and print off the capacity of your engine oil, cooling system, transmission, transfer case differentials. Be sure to like us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Don Synthetic Lubes. Thank you and have a great day.